You're gonna put your foot behind your body and then leap back to the other side. Put your foot behind. So leap side to side. Here we go. Keep it up, good job. Yeah. Ian and Isaac, give it a try. Nice. Keep it up, Jasper. All right, next up, we're just going to keep this up with a boxer shuffle. So we're going to get on the balls of your feet, shuffle back and forth like this. Here we go. Okay, next up, we're gonna loosen up those shoulders, loosen up those arms. We're gonna do a few arm circles, arms out nice and straight. We're just gonna start with some small arm circles. Halfway through, we're gonna switch and go backwards the Jacob. other way. All right, here we go. I set you up, come on. I know you got a lot of energy. Okay, so then pretend your enemies are next to you. Slap them. Come on. All right, next. Very nice, Fabian. Gibson, where are you? Good ball. Wow, Venice and Elvin, good. Together, come on. Synchronize. Yes, Isaac, yep, good. All right, friends, next up is squats. And when you're doing squats, remember, you want to have your feet about right shoulder Right, are you apart, doing? And you're going to be trying to go down with that back nice and straight. So it should look just like this. Stay on your flat feet, not on your heels. Down as far as you can, and up. Down, and Slowly, up. slowly. All right, here we go. Good. I like it, good. Careful, those on the bed, careful. Joanne, good. Gibson, you're bouncing. Ah. Awesome job. Warm, warm up complete. Now go and have an awesome day and way to go on keeping your body healthy and getting a good start to the day. Have a good one. All right, everyone. Good job. Okay. Now you can rest. Go drink your water. When we come back, we're gonna do a little. We're gonna listen about some badminton stuff. So those of you need to go get water, go need to go toilet, go need to lie down for a while, take your breath. Second point is helps you cover more ground on court. So if you do not know how to move around the court, you might be running like you are, you are just ch chasing a ball like that. But if you know how to move back and front like the guy earlier, then you're able to do it quicker and safer. The last one is better transitions. Transitions mean you can change to left or right. You can change to back or front easier. For example, if some of, like when we normally run, normally if we think that we're running straight, it is easy for us to run straight. Suddenly something jump in front of us some of us might be able to move aside some of us might be running too fast that will hit the thing in front of us so it also teaches us that 
So the red shirt trainer shows us how he moves on the court. So he said that this is the neutral pose. It means this is the beginning pose, the starting pose. How people start before the game goes. So your feet are normal as how you normally stand. Then, of course, you have to get ready, make sure no injuries. Then you see here, he said, to move front footwork, to go front, right, left, right. Right foot, left foot, right foot. So you see how he goes. So this is when you want to hit something that's coming near the net. And if you want to work, go to the other side, same thing, right, left, right. So it's very focused on the right foot, but the left foot is as important as well. And then if you want to go backwards, you want to go backwards, you can do this. Then for the overhead, is when you want to hit it up high. So you need your leg to help you push. So you see how he moves to help you hit something up high or something that's going really far. So these are the few things the two trainers or the red shirt trainer has introduced to us. Okay, so we'll continue the series next few weeks. Hopefully we can actually do it in the court.